skimming it. Getting up. All right, I got started on the dirt work. Wow, is it hot out here. All right, here's kind of a midstream look here. <clears throat> I uh, pushed back probably half of what's left to do for this clearing. Just a quick midstream look here. Uh, probably halfway done with today's finishing of the tree clearing. We'll see how it goes, but just tucking the drone into the shade so it doesn't totally fry. Uh, so you see that cherry tree right there? That's uh, that's the distance I gotta clear up to that cherry tree on this side, if you will. And then that way the depth is gonna be just uh, my discretion on how big you know we're gonna make this pond I mean he wants a more than a water hole a good size little pond here and it should collect plenty of water when we get rains and it should drain that field edge and keep that dry and it should be a nice year-round watering source come on uh, for critters, deer and other critters. So I've made it up to the cherry tree one direction. Was there something, something about George Washington chopping down a cherry tree?
right, here's the after look. Uh, there's the slash pile down there. Pretty good pile. And uh, here's the clearing. So if you could visualize, the pond dam's gonna be on that back side. It's probably gonna curl out this way just a little bit. And I'm gonna catch this whole ditch. And then I gotta cut this ditch here and bring it into the pond afterwards. Turned out pretty good. Um, the, the goal in the back was to get to where he was hinge cutting. I mean, it seems so far in the woods when we walked this. But now that it's open, it's not quite that far. But you could see right back here um, the hinge cutting. And so this dirt here is going to basically be the back of the pond dam. I mean, I'm almost... I might ask him if I should pull a little bit more, depending on how big we want it, you know, because that pond dam, if I cut the core trench up here, you know, the water is only going to start up about here, but we, it will be a pretty good sized chunk of water, so yeah, I guess we'll probably be good. So I went to the cherry tree over there and to the hinge cutting over here. Those are kind of the, when you're out in the sticks, those are the measurements you use. You don't use like tape measures and all that. From the cherry tree to the hinge cut so start to peel all this black dirt off the top pile it and then get into the clay and get going not today though I'm, I'm pretty well done for today but it's definitely a good good morning all right, I'm just gonna start just a little bit of digging but man it's uh this is some really good dirt here uh, it's almost a problem in this case because you want to get to that clay pretty quick but look at that I'm I'm, I'm down in uh, you know foot to 18 inches and it's still got nice color to it so I may at some point either have to bring a skid steer or see if Mark can break out the old uh, tractor and move some of this dirt and pile it up on the edge somewhere but man it's really good dirt I mean if a guy could get it out or load it in a dump truck you could sell this stuff if you wanted to I'm gonna start working that way I'm kind of right on the edge of where roughly uh, hopefully the water line is going to be somewhere up here got started on the dirt work wow is it hot out here uh, we got a lot of good dirt here on top so I made them a little clearing over there next to the slash pile to start storing it because we're gonna have way too much to use for the pond plus this is all good for around here black dirt this is really good dirt so I skimmed some more roots off of that so we'll see what he wants to do with the dirt and we'll keep going here